Hey guys, welcome back. So today we are vlogging the day, I think, because the battery's almost dead. And I don't seem to know where the battery charger is. I have an extra battery, but no charger. Maybe we should find that. Today is really busy. It's back to back. I'm not so sure about filming, but I'm gonna try my best. I have a fix, three fills back to back, then like 15 minutes, assuming all goes right. And then two more fills, one more fill. And then I have an appointment this afternoon at three that I need to go to. One, two, three fills back to back, and then a half an hour, and then another fill. So I have my lunch with me. I'm going to try to eat that as quickly as possible. It's just a pre-made salad that I picked up at the grocery store. I really like the ones I get. They have like bacon bits, which I'm not a huge fan of bacon bits, but they're not the really crunchy ones that hurt your teeth. And boiled egg, chicken, like rotisserie style chicken, and then all your salad stuff. So I don't even need that with dressing. I love it, just plain. So I'm gonna have that. I also have a pure protein bar, which they're like, maybe not the cheapest on the market, but they're some of the cheapest on the market and I love them because I'm always kind of looking for like a higher protein bar or a higher protein snack. Like I want, if I'm gonna snack on it, I want it to be higher protein. So I got those pure protein, the chewy chocolate chip. They're, to me, they're just like an original like chocolate chip granola bar. Um, this is full of iced coffee, it's a bit, a bit much, but we're rolling with it today. I also have one of the Gatorade G Fit um, electrolytes because I'm finding I need that boost in the middle of the day, not necessarily with caffeine, but like electrolytes. So I have that that needs to go in the fridge because it kind of tastes awful when it's warm. I have the watermelon strawberry, and I don't mind it, but really does need kind of mixed with water. It is quite strong, which I drink only water, so it being that strong to me is just, I'm just not like a juice person. Hold on, just getting my stuff ready. So, clean drill bits and dust brush. So like I said, my first is a fix, and it's, um, she's one of my only gel polish customers. Um, like her gel, manicure i just use like a builder in a bottle we'll get that done i need to get better at wearing masks i'm finding that lately i have a continual sore throat and that's what happens to me when i get doing a lot of nails and it's like busy season and i'm not wearing a mask so i just need to do that like i'm here for my career i'm not here for fun so you know, presumably I'm gonna be doing this for a few more years. Like, I need to look after that. So those are the things that are gonna to happen today. I'm watching a Holly Gabrielle, Gabrielle um, vlog right now, which is kind of what inspired me to pick up the camera this morning. I love watching her vlogs. Sometimes it takes watching a vlog to get like motivated to do it. I'm still trying to figure out what to do with my hair. I'm still thinking I'm going to grow it out. The idea changes daily, but we're we're holding to it. And yeah, it's a cloudy day. I'm gonna take you through it with me. Wow, you guys are partying, you're really crooked. Oh my, who oh, no. It's been, stay, it's been a little while. I shoved in my lunch before my last client because I wasn't sure about time. I ate my pre-made grocery store salad that I brought. I love them so much. And I ate that in like, way too fast. And then had a pure protein chocolate chip bar and some grapes and half of them were spoiled. So the rest of them are in the garbage. I had a little electrolyte drink and now I'm just waiting for my last client. So she's coming, you know, I did all that rushing and um, well, I have about 15 minutes. So that's, yeah, about 15 minutes until my next Client. I am then going to an appointment of my own, which I will not be taking you to. It's for like uh, my asthma and 
kind of been having a hard time with that lately. I don't know, it could be allergies. You know how things are, we never know. And I mean, I do work in dust all the time. So that's one thing that I just wanted to, you guys are nail techs. I know that window is super annoying behind me. You guys are nail techs, are you wearing a mask? Are you wearing it all the time? And I'm not talking about for COVID or any of that. Anyway, the rules, not because of the rules, but because of nail dust, are you wearing a mask? If you are wearing a mask, are you pulling it down and it's protecting your chin most of the day? Or are you actually wearing it? Because I just pull mine down. Like I'm wearing it, but I pull it down and then it's not doing anything. And then I'm waking up, you know, a month in a row in the mornings with um, a sore throat and wondering why and realizing it's probably nail dust. Just curious what you guys are doing. And also I have like 20 plus years worth of nail dust. So it's a lot of dust. Hey guys, welcome back. It's another day and another camera battery. So I didn't actually film much yesterday because I couldn't seem to get the new battery in the camera. It happens. So today, first things first, trying to get these nails of mine done, which I can't seem to make happen. Let me show them tomorrow. I'm just getting caught up on emails. It's a late start to the morning this morning. I don't start until 10, uh, which was actually awesome because I wanted to go for a walk this morning and I was able to do that. And I was still able to have enough time to like shower and get ready afterwards. That was good. I always like when that happens, when it kind of works out that way. Now I'm here doing this. My next step this morning, my next thing would be my first client at 10. And then I have a kind of designed break because I wanted to do some tattooing stuff this morning. So I'm going to dig that all out and get some practice in. I've been working really hard for those of you that are interested in the permanent makeup. I've been working really hard at like lines and uh, lining and I feel like it's paying off big time. I thought kind of the part that might need the most practice like when I was going into it a year ago a little bit more than a year ago now I thought the part that would need the most like fine tuning would be the like whip shading and it really isn't for me it's more the lining so I'm gonna spend some time with that and I, I do you know I'm fully confident in doing my lining in what I do what I'm trying to really practice towards is moving on to more complicated cases, scars and things of the such. So that's where we're at with that. Um, I got a new pair of pants. I'd like to show you guys, but I know that maybe I'll just insert them. And they're in my Amazon store, which the link is down below. Feel free if you want to. But um, when I first got them, I was like, nope, sending them back. I tried them on kind of as soon as the guy dropped them off the door. And nope, I don't like those, sending them back. And then they kind of nagged at me all day and I tried them on again last night and I was like, mm, maybe. And then I tried them on this morning and I was like, oh, oh no, I really quite like these. So anyway, I'm wearing them today. <laughs> We're gonna see, I'm sure they're fine. They just have a lot of material, it seemed like. But now that I'm wearing them, they're okay. I don't know. You know what's like trying to get pants to fit. Okay, so it's a couple hours later. I've done my client and now, like before I did my client, I did these. I just put their acrylic nails, but I just put a builder in the bottle over them. I just don't have the time or the wand to fill them right now. But why did I put that color on? Like all I wanted was red. I wanted bright red. And I put that color on and then thought I was going to put like chrome over it to give it that chrome effect. Like, no, I'm not. We know I'm not. What are you doing? So here I am, taking it back off. I've been doing really good lately at wearing my mask, except for right now. This is gonna be the moment that gets me. So maybe I'm just gonna, I don't have to take that clear off, right? We're just gonna make it work. Okay, let's get this done. I'm gonna turn on my dust extractor. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little. And we keep track of time. Being so serious, idiots. Thinking it will matter, keep me company downtown. 
before the clock runs out. Sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around, and then I remember all things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. Hey guys, okay, we're back. It's only literally been like 15 minutes, but I just took the shiny off of this hand that had acrylic that hasn't been filled like a long, long time ago. And it just had Builder in a Bottle. Yeah, and Top Coat. Alexa, stop. We don't wanna get copyrighted. Morgan Wallen over here. We don't, we don't want to get copyrighted. Um, so this is what I put on. It is the Glitter Bells Fire Engine. It is one of my favorite reds. I will probably wear this most of the summer, if I'm being honest. I just love it. Like I love the way it goes with everything, especially when my nails are short, which is probably how they'll be for the summer because, where's my stuff? Because I plan on tattooing quite a bit. Let me do my stuff. So speaking of tattooing, I am going to do some practice. I have, have an hour before my next client and I'm gonna to try to use it wisely. I also haven't eaten yet, so that's something that we'll need to have. Let me sit back down quite soon. So I just have a bag here that I've been keeping everything in. I probably don't need to bring all this stuff every time, but it's nice to just be able to reach in and grab what I want rather than um, maybe not have something. So, what needle am I gonna use today? I have a couple of practice needles in there. I'll probably just grab one of those because I don't have a lot of time today, so I won't open a new needle for practice. Obviously, I open new needles for every client, so let's not even go there, but for practice, I have needles set aside, I guess is what I'm trying to say, and I like to use those ones. So I'm gonna just use black today because some of it might get wasted. So I have the, if you're interested, the world famous, um, is it just black? Pitch Black. And I'll be playing with that today because Pitch Black actually gives you like, I don't know, the blacks, um, you're just able to see your pixels more on the practice skin rather than the colors. First of all, I don't wanna waste them. And I don't actually love having my colors open in a, um, Space that's not 100% sanitary because right now I am not cleaned up sanitary wise to tattoo. So I just don't like having my colors, my client colors open. Um, I also have a set of, oh God, stuff. Like practice lips. Creepy, I know. Uh, I don't know if I'll play with those today. I think I'll just use my, I have these, which they're brow practice pads from Tina Davies, but lines and shading are lines and shading. So I use the brow ones. And I also use, sorry, I know that's noisy. Uh, Shea Danielle, uh, along with High Vibe, has like practice pads like these for lining. So I'm using those a lot for lining, camera's giving me a weird notification. And I am also have started using my, whoop, my stand for ink when I'm tattooing because I find I'm not using it when I'm tattooing on people. I'm moving around too much and I'm not using this stand, but it is perfect for practice because when I'm practicing on more than one occasion, I have knocked over the ink. So I've got that shook up. Gonna take some of my black. I'm gonna end up bringing up more than probably what I need, but I have to be able to dip into it, so. Get my machine out. That mask, so I have a mask 1RL. 
and I'm going to use it. Okay, let's do some practice. Done with practicing, really hasn't been that long, but I need to eat before my client comes because if everything goes, you know, like it should this afternoon, then I probably won't have time to eat if I don't do it right now. So I don't like to head into the afternoon with I probably won't get to eat. I want to know that I uh, get to eat. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm making such a mess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> And this is why I didn't want my nails to be a neutral color because tattoo ink. Don't practice with gloves on for a couple of different reasons, but yeah. <laughs> and I should practice with gloves on for a couple of different reasons. So I am going to leave the wrap on my machine. I'm going to simply put it away because I will use it again this weekend to pull some more lines. And I do also realize, I don't want anybody to take this as a tutorial. This is not, that was not what you've seen, was not a tutorial, was not what you should do. It was not even how you do it. Um, I tend to use my first few minutes with the machine as just like messing around. I wasn't even holding it right. And I, you know, I realized that after um, filming it that you know, somebody might be offended by how I used my machine. And yeah, I, it, that was not right. I was not holding it at a 90 degree angle. I was not doing any of those things that I was supposed to be doing. Because when I go from nails to tattooing, when I am practicing, I tend to just, just work my way into the feel of the machine, the vibration. I'm also wearing headphones, so I'm trying to go by feel, um, which is just something that I've been playing around with, trying to go by feel rather than sound with the machine. So that, anyway, little disclaimer, that was not done properly. That was not to be seen as a tutorial or what you should be doing. It wasn't at all what you should be doing. So I've messed around with that. I really didn't do too much. I said, I, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, it's a different day. Um, it's a different week, but that's okay. We're carrying on. We're doing what we do. So today is a day full of clients. I started late and I'm ending late, um, which is strange for me. Usually I start late, or I start early and end late. But anyway, I started a little later this morning, so it's kind of like feels weird in here. It feels like it feels like I went for lunch and came back or something. I'm gonna do a couple clients and then I don't have my book right here. It's over there. I'm gonna do a couple of clients and then I am. I need to make an order. I need to make an order. I said this on Friday, like this weekend I'm gonna make an order and I started one and then I got sidetracked. You know how it is, you get on the couch and you're gonna make an order and you don't have your credit card and you don't wanna get up. And I used to keep it, this is sinful, I used to keep a copy of it in my phone. But I don't do that anymore because I spend a lot of money that way. But I'm going to get that order made. I need files desperately, I need acrylic and monomer, uh, and then there was a couple of nail art things that I actually did add to the cart. We'll see, sometimes I add that stuff to the cart and I think really, I truly already like have that stuff or I really don't need it, like I've got so much stuff. So I'm working through stuff as you might have gathered. So I no longer have access to the nail throne, like glitter bells here in Canada. You can still get it in the UK. You can order it from Canada. It just, I just don't need to. Like, there's no reason why I love the glitter bells product. Let's start there. But 
don't need to order it from the UK, right? Like um, there's other brands that are equally as good that I can order here and have shipped quite quickly. I am using through with some of my stuff. I've got so much stuff. I mean, you guys, you see a little corner over here, but you guys have seen my wall. Um, like it just goes on forever. It's not very well organized right now, but it's like organized chaos, right? Like I know where everything is. It just might not look like it. So I'm gonna use through some of those and I need to use through like there's you can see where the bottles, the glitter bell bottles start right there. They're double stacked, some of them, and there's one, two, three, four rows, and there's like two, four, six, eight, ten. There's probably 20 in each row, then the double row. So I'm gonna use through some of those. I have, as well as a bad neck. Uh, do your stretches, girls, if we'll get to that. Uh, up here, there is some ugly duckling that I've actually had for a super long time, like a super long time. So I really do need to go through those and see what's what, what's looking good, what's not. If you guys wanna see that, if you want to see a clean out, a haul, not a haul, a reverse haul, so to speak. If you guys wanna see a declutter and a clean out and a throw out and a donate and a giveaway, let me know. Those are kind of fun to film, but they're kind of long to edit, but I'm more than willing to do it if you wanna see it. So let me know down below or by liking the video and I'll get that in the works for you because I do need to do a clean out here. It's been about a year and I gather stuff like nobody's business, right? And I mean, I have nail art from a decade ago because that's what we do, we collect nail art. The stretching, the neck. Okay, so the neck is an ongoing thing for me. It's neck, shoulder, it's that whole side, and it's the stationary side. So it's not the one I file with, it's this one. It's the one I fight people with, right? You all know what I mean, we're fighting people with that hand. And um, it got really bad. It got really bad a couple of weekends ago, probably why I haven't been uploading videos. I just really haven't, like I'm using all my energy to do what I do, and that's kind of it. So of course I was taking a lot of like, Tylenol and, and that sort of thing. And that's really not, like that doesn't do your stomach any good. So I kind of backed off of that. I've been chiropractor massage, acupuncture, the whole nine yards. Um, I could say nothing's helping, but nothing's really making it any better. It's not getting any worse. But this is like a lifelong thing too. I mean, I spent the first, how long have I been doing this? I spent the first 15 years of my career working 24 seven, literally six days a week, 12 hours a day, bent over the desk, nothing the right height, not paying attention to anything, not stretching, not exercising, not anything, you know, eating crap, like not looking after anything. And it has caught up to me and it will catch up to you. So do your stretches. Even if you can find a good YouTube video of like, um, stretches for someone that works in an office because they are out there the videos of how to stretch like your hands your wrists your arms your shoulders get that done do that go for your massages invest in yourself it sounds so cliche but if you're going to be working into your 40s and 50s you you need to look after that rant over I am I don't know if I'll make my order right now. I have a half an hour before my next client gets here. I have a little bit of paperwork to do, like pen to paper figuring for something else that I'm doing on the sidelines, which you'll probably see in a bit, but it's not quite together yet. I tattooed all weekend, so just getting my room back together and getting myself sorted back out. Sometimes I'll get halfway through a service and be like, where, where where's that because I've stashed it during the uh, the tattoo session I actually had to go looking for my blazer this morning you guys I'm sure you've been here you know that I wear this all the time it's kind of a jacket kind of a blazer once I start working it comes off it's sheen it was like ten dollars 13 at most it washes and wears like a dream and it you can also like wad it up in a tiny little ball and stick it somewhere and it doesn't wrinkle so we love that we don't love the fast fashion necessarily, but when you get a piece that you can wear over and over again and it's kind of a good quality piece, we do love that. The sun is shining, but the rain is welcome too. Friends are nearby, don't need another view. Time is not on my mind, but then it's you. Oh, I love it when the love comes around and then I remember 
all things must pass But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, today we are, it's a couple of days later. Maybe a few days later. I went to a concert this weekend. I had so very much fun. I'll try to put a couple of clips in here. Unfortunately, I can't put the audio with them because copyright, but it was Lori Morgan. And if you liked or like 90s, 80s, 90s country music, she was the girl to be. She was a superstar. And I got to see her quite locally this weekend. So that was so much fun. I was so glad to be able to do that. But I'm gonna leave you with that for now. I'm gonna leave this vlog and I'm gonna start filming a new one tomorrow. I'm gonna try to show up better for you guys. This has been really hard to film because I'm doing so many other things. I'm cosmetic tattooing, I'm doing some social media management. So there's a lot more happening. And because of that, I feel like I have less time to edit and less time to be in front of the camera. But I wanna show up, I wanna do better. So hold me to it. <laughs>